Hi, hello everyone. How are you guys doing this morning? All right, guys, it's really great to see you. Glad to be back here, back again this week. So we're gonna get started pretty soon. So for this week, based on what you guys voted for yesterday, since I'm gonna be drawing a dragon today, I said I'm gonna draw Mushu from Mulan. So what I think I will do. Instead of doing it vert, swing horizontal like I normally have like in the past, I think what I will do is actually do it vertical this time. Because what I think I'm going to do have for Mushu here is I'm going to actually have a pose where he's actually standing up. So I'm at a spot for where his head's going to be. Then he has a nice little S curve for his tail. Because he's got a long, slender body like a lot of um. Like a lot of like Chinese dragons have. And they have his arms, they're probably crossed. But he has a spot for where his feet are gonna be. Alright, so me kind of lightly kind of put out his features so he put it far where his eyes are gonna be there we go hey Shay how you doing it's good to see you good to see you yeah I've already got started on drawing Mushu right about now let me make sure I can't let me make sure everything's in the, in the shot okay good 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 all right so let me kind of get his no let me kind of bring his nose out a little bit more He's got a very kind of a sharp protruding nose. You know, for his mouth, he's got a very wide smile. Of his cheeks kind of spring out that back that direction. And we get his bottom lip. He's got his little ears. He's got these two horns at the top. As again, guys, I'm being very light as I'm put as I'm filling out his features. Just being very light, very light. There we go. Now let's get. I think I'll bring bring his arms out a little more because I forgot. You know, with um, Mushu's hand, Mushu's arms, they kind of come down because he still has a spot for where his neck is gonna be. Bite us a little bit more, and I'm gonna be falling a little bit fast and loose as far as actually um keeping him on model.
We get his feet because he's got very short and stubby feet. There we go. In fact, let me, if I forget, let me just kind of sprint slim him down just a bit more. Because while his feet, legs are very sunny, he's got pretty, like, large, at least large for him. Large feet. He's got two toes. kind of bring his tail down just a bit more because it kind of feathers out at the very end out a little bit more here. We can feel his nostrils. Very light. Let me just kind of fill out his mouth just a bit more. Give me just one moment. There we go. Let me get his little fur. Let me see his furry, furry, furry little ends on his cheeks. Let me see. Still not looking quite right just yet. Let me for my reference photos. Get his bo the bottom part of his top lip, and it's kind of scruffy at the bottom. You get the tall, like, two, get the top of his two little whips. bottom part of his mouth. Hmm. Yeah, let me skip on the yarn. I'm just kind of, kind of going to slow and narrow his body a bit more. Let me get the back of his scales. He 
the back. The scales will be bring them out just a bit more. There we go. Hmm, you know what? Let me bring, I think I'll bring his arm out a bit here. I think I'll have him bring out, so maybe he's probably waving at us. I feel that makes, him, that makes him a lot more inviting and friendly, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, I think I will go ahead and do that. Something about it was bugging, but I just couldn't figure out what it was, what it was just yet. Yesterday I drew more from the Wind in the Willows. And beyond that, my man Fan Musha before. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I've if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, I haven't drawn different mold. I haven't drawn them Wind in the Willows yet either. This is honestly my second time probably drawing a Mushu. I think I did them once. I think a couple of years, a couple of years ago. I don't think I have a picture on me at the moment. I wish or I'd show y'all. This is probably my second time doing it. Yeah, but that's cool to, cool to end up doing that, though. Sometimes I have to pull back to make sure everything I'm doing looks okay. Cause sometimes you kinda of step back so you can look at what you're doing. Cause you never know, something might pop out and you won't even realize it. Get his little hands, his little clawed hands. Get his little ears. I'm looking at my own hands to kind of make sure the um, posture's hands are right, but also I'm kind of looking at Rep Rose and how his hands look because his hands are very long and reptilian like. get his other arm here. Okay, I think that looks good for right now. I can always find it a little bit later, so let me go back to his facial features. Let me kind of finish filling them out. I think what I will do here is that um, I'm going to worry not too much. I'm going to worry too much about keeping on model, but just making sure I get his likeness to look real okay. Let me fill out his pupils.
Let me get his two, two like small horns. Let me bring those out just a bit more. Let me get the underside of his ear here. I know one of these has kind of a little, kind of a little chip in the middle. Let me add a little scruff, just so it'll look a little bit, just so it won't look so empty in this little pot right here. Let me get his teeth, because he's got very sharp teeth. I know. That's bad, you know what's fine. You know, they could have had Mujuna not speed alive live and remake. The movie's actually because this why that Tiny Dragon. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I didn't think there was any reason for that. They'd have to, like, take him out completely. Yeah, because I think both. Yeah, because both moves are pretty inaccurate. So it's kind of surprising that I just had to go with the idea of taking him out. And what little I've seen of the live action one, like, it's been just okay. And it could have been much better, you know, considering that they decided to go the more action-packed route. But the same time, at least from what I've seen, from what I've heard, it's like they really want to try to try, try pay fans to the original without anything new to it. Because that's the thing I have, you know, a lot of those Disney sequels that, um, let me go and get his legs out here, is that, like, they'll add, you see, they'll try to add a lot of, like, C CGI, like, big names to the budget. But when it comes to story, either they try to copy the original without really anything new to it, because... I feel, you know, if you're going to have, have you come in and w watch a remake of the movie, you got to have something in there that's going to actually give reason for people to watch it. Because if it's going to be like a shot for shot remake of the original, you know, I watch the original. And I think it, I think with the, Controversy around that move. I think it would kind of hurts is that uh, with that particular. But I think that was the one. I think a lot of people were kind of excited to see, like see and thought, you know, this is gonna be the one that was gonna really do it. Yeah, and honestly, I thought that was that was what they were gonna do, like to actually maybe have Mushin, but just happen to just not speak. Let me get his hands. He's face that doesn't interact. I do remember hearing about that. He was replaced by a fan of from Law. No, it's on China, but Asian face that bitches red peapox as opposed to the Western Arab eagle depiction. Yet yeah, that I did he I did here because I haven't really seen too many shots of it. But even then, like that seems like a change at this point because like, you know, why even make a change if he's not gonna really impact the main character a certain way because and see that seems like that, like you bring up like you create something that's same that's a little newer, different, but you don't really do anything that kind of really impacts the story. So let me kind of bring it. Let me kind of bring out his tail a little bit more here. Let me kind of slim out his legs just a bit more. And honestly, I have no idea, you know, what what they're gonna do as far as their team's gonna do with their remakes as of now. Especially seems like a lot more people now they're kind of getting sick of them. They might decide to try to do as they can, try to get all the C get as much as they can with all the um remaking all the classics. Or who knows, maybe they might go with the um, route they did with the um with the Disney DVD sequels where it's made animated, like animated on like DVD sequels. You know, best case scenario, 
if they decide to remake some of their li- their old live action films and animated anime movies. Because at least you're making something that, that's familiar to audience, but at the same time, you're doing something that's anime and doing something that's already know what the company's known for. Yeah, but I don't want to sound too negative throughout this throughout the stream. But that's just a thought. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good here with our sketch. So now what I am gonna go ahead and do, let me go and start refining some of our details a bit more here before I start adding adding our black pen to refine our details. Let me bring out those scrubs a bit more. other leg here. Here we go. I think we're looking pretty good. Let me bring out his, his tail just a bit more to the underside. And by the way, thanks to all you guys that really kind of favored my new um short, the one I did on Son Goku last week. And um, I really appreciate you guys that, that you guys really enjoyed that, that stream. I appreciate you guys. I love the short because honestly, I was surprised how well it did. All right, so I think now that we've gotten um our we've gotten our rough sketch going of Mushu here, now let's start refining him. Not refining him. Let's start filling with our black pen. So what I am gonna do is go our black has gotta go over our main lines. So I'm gonna go around his eyes, which are very circular. And he has eyebrows. Cause since he's happy and excited, they're actually stretching up almost above his head. Usually, a lot of cartoony characters, usually, if they got really prominent, like eyebrows or lashes, they tend to kind of stretch up way above their forehead. Especially if they got more exaggerated proportions. And I just looked up not too long ago. Apparently, with the original Mulan movie, apparently, the idea was that he was, a, Mulan was originally going to have like two like reptile, like sidekick characters. Before they decided that he was gonna just, ha- just be a dragon, and they were gonna be like comic relief characters, but apparently they felt you know it would have made the- they felt the whole scene would have gotten too crowded with too many characters, and I actually think that was kind of a good course to rather have the stick with just one rather than have him have him get with two. Although you could argue probably te- she technically already has two psychics already because she has a Mushu, she has Cricky. Years. All right. You get that little dip in his dip in his ear here. You get his other ear on the other side. You get his dull like little point pointed horns. 
So now let's work our way down. Let me get his feathered wings on the back of, on his back. Let me get his little underside. Let's get his little arm here. There we go. It works working just gradually working my way down and make sure I get the other side. There we go. Let me just get his other arm here. I was gonna go. I think once I'm done with um inking with this ballpoint, I what I do have another like thicker pen. I was gonna finish the rest of my ink work with. I was gonna do that like once I'm done with this, but I figured you know what? I'll probably save that towards the end when I'm off, once I've already colored everything in. Just a, just a quick disclaimer, I think today's stream might end up being a little bit shorter because I know what a few areas I have to take care of, like once I'm done with some dumbest streamer later on this afternoon. So I won't be able to stay as long. So yeah, that's part of the reason why I wanted to kind of start a little earlier. All right, let's get his tail. Let's get a little scruffy bit at the end. I know I made sketches today. Oh, okay, you decided to kind of take a break just from a little bit of do a little sketching. Yeah, it's something that you add something you don't. That something is important, you know. Whenever. You, even when you're drawing pretty constantly, it does help to make sure you're taking a break and make sure you're not stressing yourself too much as far as wondering what you want to draw. All right, so normally I would go over with go over the um thicker with the um thicker um ink pens for this, but I think you know what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go ahead and go right into um coloring and descent. I'm also gonna do that using um the markers. So let me get the ones I have on hand. Give me just a few moments. Give me just a few moments. Let me make sure I get get like the colors that I need. Let me see. I'm just kind of going through the color color markers I have on I have right right alongside me at the moment. Try to see if I got a good size red, red that I can use. Let 
Let me see. Let me see if I got another dark red I can use. Okay, I think I found some found some I can use. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so give me just one moment. I think I will do is like for start off. We start with um the me coming from the main parts of his body with this vermilion so it has a slight orangish tint to it but he knows all by his red all by his red um it has a slight orangish tint to it for certain parts of his body so I'm gonna use that so I'm gonna use that to color like the main part of his body Make sure I leave, make sure I don't color in his little wisp, his little wispy mustache. here because I know later at the very tip of his um his ears they they fade to black so I'm only a cup up this point right here I'm actually take care of that later yeah and right now I'm just kind of coloring in all the edges just making sure they look picture they look straight before I start really coloring the larger blocks of color there we go Well, you know, I can fix that later. Alright. Just trying to get a very nice, even consistency. And, you know, getting that smooth um, look, that smooth, even look when coloring in, that's kind of part of the reason why I'm kind of turning to um, alcohol-based markers. Let me make sure. sure. Okay, good. That's what I thought. I want to make sure I have blotching underneath this paper. Since these markers tend to bleed a bit. Where was I? And having a smooth, smooth layer of color this is kind of part of the reason I ended up switching to um, alcohol based markers. Because, um, top of being easier to blend is that um, I can get a much easier ear layers of color versus, you know, with regular, like, like water based ones. They can work too, but you gotta really be good at layering. Because they can be get really streaky. Let me get the, get the other part of this leg here. other arm on this side if 
if I recollection, um, for original movie Mulan, um, Tom, um, and famed Disney Amir Tom Bancroft, he did majority of a lot of the animation for Mushu in that film. Apparently, um, according to Tom, it was actually one of his favorite characters to um, animate, which I believe because um, I actually follow him on DVRN on Instagram, and a lot of times when he'll do like little fan art pieces, he'll do a lot of them involving um, Mushu. And I can see why, because he's a very fun character to draw and anime. And apparently, um, they actually did consider him having at one point maybe just be a regular, like, large sized dragon. But, um, they decided, you know, by having him, since they realized, you know, since the mythical feature can change in size, uh, they figured, oh, well, oh, wow, we can actually do a lot more, you know, with this character. And so by making him a small character, that really opened a lot of possibilities of what they could do with him. So I'm going to use, like, an actual dark, deeper red. As far as coloring the rest of his body. So let me color in scales, his feathered tail. Let me use the other side. Bluetooth disconnected. Oh, wait, hold on, y'all. Give me just one moment. Sorry about that. Hmm. Because I have a little music box for some reason it's not playing in the back. Playing too high. Okay. Sorry about that. I have no idea what happened there. He get his little hands, or kind of, little hands, little fingers. His fingers are always like a darker shade of red. There we go. Let me get his little wings here. Get his toes at the bottom. All right, that looks pretty good. You know what? Let me see if I can kind of what if I can darken this just a bit, just a tiny bit. Have some old red here I can use. Let me see how that looks. Yeah, I think I'll go over just a little bit, a little bit with this old red I got here. Okay, that looks a little, that looks a lot better. Okay, good, good, good. So next color I'm gonna go over is gonna go use some old, some golden orange to go over him. You know, oh, to go over his skin, the underside of his skin. Let me make sure it's bright up. Okay, perfect, it is. Hmm, that's a little more. 
little orange and I thought it was more of a bright yellow, but you know what? I can fix that. I can probably go over it with some yellow, just kind of brighten it up a bit more. Yeah, in fact, I have a yellow right here I can use just to go over it. Just kind of brighten this up. Of course, let me make sure I get his little whisk, little whiskers here. I have a gel pen so I can do to kind of bring back some of the color in this one. So I'll get to that when I get to it. You know, for his, um, his horns, they're kind of like two shades of blue because they start with more of a lighter shade of blue towards the base. And then they have a darker shade of blue towards the top. So let me get the top part of his little, his little ears here. a little bit darker than I intended, so what I will use, I think I have, what if I have one that's not as dark? Okay, here we go. I do have one. Let's see if I can try to blend this out. Okay, good. That looks much better. Alright. Cool. So... Also, let's use some pink for the underside of his ears here. All right, so in fact, well, let me go ahead and do while I'm at it. Let me kind of outline some of the areas I've some of the areas I've already done for a little bit of red, just to make them pop just a bit more. Like let me outline this edge with edge with the red pen here. There we go. Let me get the bottom part of his mouth here. He'll go along the edge of his underside here to kind of make that yellow, that yellow part of his body pop just a bit more. I'll go a little dark underneath his lower leg right here. And can just a tiny bit of shadow. Back of his tail. There we go. Okay, so let me see. Let me see what's next. 
You know, I think that pink's a little too bright in my opinion. Let me see if I can dull it down a bit with this gray. I'm just gonna dull it down just a tiny bit. It's a very light gray, so it's not gonna dilute it too much. Okay, good. That's not that's not bad at all. Perfect. Now, of course, areas where we can use our black. I'm just gonna fill in his eyes. Let me get his ears. All right. Let me see if I can add a little. Let me just kind of add a little that dark red here to kind of blend it in with the rest of his ears, since it's like a very small, like soft gradient. Alright, so and we're almost gonna be done with all of this pretty soon. So next thing I'm doing, let me go and get my big my regular big red pen here. Not red pen, um ink pen. Sorry about that. Okay, good. I do have it. So I'm just gonna use my big, well, my big um fine layer pens here. So basically, I'm just gonna use that to just kind of go around the outline of Mushu here. And you know what we've talked about, like, yeah, even though they could have kept, yeah, Toffee they did, like, but they probably have to keep them silent. Not like because it could have, it would have worked with the tone they were going for, but also, let's be honest, there's no replacing Eddie Murphy. As far as getting that good vocal points, I think the only way I came close is probably, um, the guy they got to play him in the um the sequel Mulan Two, where um that guy's name comedian I think his name was Mark I think it was Mark Mosley, where he actually kind of pretty much did an Eddie Murphy impression. And to his credit, he did a fairly good job. I honestly didn't know it was him because um until I looked up the credits, and apparently part of the reason um A and not really doing um. Reprise his voice in the sequel is mainly because um at the same because right when they were working on Mulan two you know he was already busy with Shrek two at the time. There we go. So let me get the other. I am probably going to switch to a smaller pen in just a few moments once I'm done with this.
we go. Let me get his other side here. I'm just going all around just the shape of the entire shape of his body here. And as I'm drawing, I'm making sure, you know, like everything's kind of flowing into one, flowing into one another. Hope the music isn't too loud. I don't want it to be too loud so y'all can't really hear what I'm saying. Alright, that looks good. It's for our thick outline. Oh! Let's get our smaller outlines in. Let me see. I know I got a smaller pen here somewhere. Let me see. Okay, perfect. I do. We add a little bit of scales. And then we get, let me kind of bring out his mouth a little bit, just kind of bring out that outline just a bit more. He bring out his little sharp teeth. All right, cool, cool. So, I think I'll add, add a little deep, some little accents here and there. I think I'll you know go over some of the parts I did with some colored pencil. Maybe brighten up some of our yellow pencil. No, actually, I think I may not need it. I think we might be probably good here. What we definitely do need, though, is that on some gel pen. So I am going to use that to color in our whiskers. Let's bring it back out. So where was I? Oh, here we go. So I'm just going to lightly go over our whiskers. Just bring it back. So let's bring our little highlights in his eyes. All right, guys. I think you know what? Oh, let me let me add a few more finishing touches. I think we'll add a little side, little shadow underneath his feet. Shadow shot underneath it, keep his arms. Alright guys, I think we are just about done here. So guys, that is our friend Mushu. In fact, let me just kind of look over just a, a bit more just to see if there's any spots that I think could be touched up. Cause I'm pretty much done now. I'm just kind of like adding little spots here and you know, just to kind of really fine tune a little bit more, making sure he's looking pretty good. And he's kind of thicken out the underside of his ear here. Let me see. You know what, let me kind of use white pen to kind of get rid of some of the, some of the white here. Let 
You know, add some little white here. I think I will add just a little bit of white here for some highlights. I'm not gonna add too much. Because since I've already done everything I want to do, I'm just only adding just tiny bits here and there to kind of make them pop just a bit more. Let me see. Oh, I think I know exactly what I want to do now. What I will do is actually we'll kind of lightly kind of color in our background. I'm just gonna have a very light bit so I won't so I won't compete with our, compete with our dragon here. So I'm gonna use some of this light green I this green I have here. I'm just gonna add a very light layer. I'll do I'll use to kind of go over all the spots where I where I saw some leftover like red pen ink. Just kind of even even it out, smooth everything out so everything looks a little bit neater. Because even though I still want to picture like a nice sketchy look, I still want it to look a little bit more presentable. I appreciate you guys coming in, dropping in, voting on for this show because he's because I have all the dragons I thought about doing for um today. I this guy I definitely really wanted to do so that appreciate you guys voting for that. And I feel like it would be. I think it was either gonna be him or maybe Shenron. You know, since since everyone still talk about DBZ. Let me just kind of overlap, overlap towards the center. Just got another side layer just kind of going over where I have, so it kind of nice, create a nice little gradient. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Let me go and go back over with this yellow. In fact, let me sharpen it first. Give me just a few moments. I'm trying to find it. I don't have my electric warming on me at the moment. Ah, yeah, here we go. Perfect. And 
So I'm just gonna lightly go over, go over some of, some of our green here, which just a little bit is yellow. I'm not gonna use too much. Just a very, very light amount. So I want to keep the colors for the background pretty pale so they don't compete, you know, with our colorful dragon here. And worse than that, since Mushu's Cross is he's a very colorful character. So yeah, that, are, that is something to kind of keep in mind. So let me see. All right. I'm just slightly going around our whole guy here with a very, you know, very like light shade of yellow, just very light. And guys, I hope you guys have really been enjoying the um the, how the new cam new camera. So I know I mentioned it last week, but um I did recently get a new cam camera new camera for my stream. So hopefully everything is a lot clear and it's not as murky as what as how they looked in the past. All right, so guys, that is it. So we got our boy Mushu here. Oh. And guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream for today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw this guy. Let me go and add a little bit more, ye more yellow in. More yellow for his whiskers. Make them bring about bring more yellow again. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. In fact, am I missing anything? Let me see. I'm sorry about. Sorry, I keep stopping like this. I just keep finding stuff. That I figured I figured I needs to be changed. So for guys, other whisker here. Okay, now I'm actually done for real this time. Alright guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's stream. Sorry it was a little bit shorter than usual. But I do a few things I gotta take care of later today, so that's part of the reason why today was pretty short. So guys, I hope to see you all again next week. I might stream tomorrow, but if I do, I'll make sure I let you guys know early on just in case I do that. But if not, I'll definitely should be getting next week. If not on Wednesday evening, it'll definitely just be coming on um, Saturday again. All right, so guys, have a great day. And as always, keep drawing, keep sketching. <laughs>